So now let's look at some of these other examples that I've got. See what happens if we select this clip and double click the gear. Uh, does a great job, but again, if we go to our mat, we can see that a little bit of that lighting stand is still visible. And uh, we actually, a little bit of her shirt is a little bit transparent too. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to uh, bring up that fill holes and that's gonna fix the shirt, right? By dragging, dragging the fill holes up, it's gonna fix the shirt. And because this is so far off the edge, rather than fixing this with the key controls, I'm gonna add another mask. So I'm gonna double click this mask filter and that's gonna add another, another effect. Uh, if I let's just close the key here, and here's our mask, and I can control the shape of the mask. I'm just going to drag these handles up, right, so that we're not uh, masking this side, but we are masking the other side of the image there, right? And so now let's go to our uh, go back in our key here and show the finished result there. Now we can see. Oh well, let's put something in the background there. What have I got? I've got a a background shot, a farm backdrop. Let's just drag that in there underneath there. And now we can see that she's standing in front of that little farm at farm there. Because I have that mask, see if I turn that off, it's a little subtle, but you can see a little line appears. See that little gray line appearing over here? And if I turn it on, it takes away that gray line because it's masking that area out of the image. And it looks like we are also masking a little bit of her forehead. So let's fix that. I select the mask. And I can move that uh, that handle up a little bit, so it's now the the mask is not covering her up at all. And then finally, I would do a similar thing for the donkey. Let's uh, double click the keyer, and it keys out the green really nicely. But of course, there's all that background area. You know, let's just move our background over so we can see the donkey in front of the farm there. So now let's apply a circle mask, and the circle mask will hide all the areas outside of the circle. I'm going to turn off the keyer for a second so we can see the shape of our circle. And now let's adjust this, the shape of the circle here. Uh, first, let's add a little bit of a soft edge. I'm just going to increase the feather and then lower the scale a little bit. And actually what I need is a, like an oval shape. So let's expand the scale settings here and let's increase the X a little bit. So we just see that little gray there and we'll let's rotate that just a little bit like that. And uh, you maybe just need to tweak it, you know, here and there. I'm, I'm trying to move very quickly. Uh, you probably could spend a little bit more time and get it just right. And let's turn back on our keyer. And now, yeah, I got to fix the top of that. And now we've got our donkey well keyed. The, you can see the background behind him, which works pretty well, except that his feet are cut off. Looks like he's standing in the middle of the dirt. Well, what can I do to fix that? One thing I can do is I'm going to just click the transform button and then I can move my donkey and so I can move him into the foreground just move him over a little bit so now it looks like the reason we can't see his feet are because he's closer to the camera and now we've got this nice little effect where our donkey is standing in front of the uh, background there.